Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hornet Duck and we are playing RimWorld Alpha 14 on extreme difficulty as the Dark Moon Slavers. Welcome back. We are just in the process of talking with this exotic goods trader. Ooh, they have a flat screen television on the cheap. Only a thousand space bucks <laughs> for this. Do they have anything else? Can we sell them anything? We do have a bit of plasteel. They do have a good amount of components. Might not want to buy components again. And they're selling a warg, a male warg, mm, and a cassowary, and little world medicine, bionic eye, and a bionic leg. Don't really have the money for this. Doomsday rocket launcher or triple rocket launcher. I think I want to go for the um, flat screen television actually. It's a lot of money. We don't have the money for it. I'm gonna try my plasteel here. Yes, that'll do it. I'm gonna go for it. My people deserve a pl uh, flat screen. Okay. We still have the manhunters outside. Got a couple of them chilling out. We have low food. Which is not good. Doesn't make me happy at all. These guys are pissing each other off again. <laughs> because they're abrasive. Oh, and we have a lot of a lot of steel slag stuff inside. Let's go for some production stuff. Yeah, let's go for the electric smelter in here. To maybe get some more steel out of it. We do have a, a good amount of energy. So it might actually be um, feasible to go for that. Um, let's put a dining chair over there. Uh, another thing that I wanted to do for production's sake, I wanted to put another, a third stove in there so that um, there's always a, an ability to cook stuff. I mean, we don't really have the, um, the food at the moment because I need to expand this, but we're close, we're very close to the moisture pump and then we'll actually be able to do it. Um, I'm gonna stop digging here. <laughs> the collapsing, collapsing roofs, I really don't like them. Um, so let's cancel this for the moment. And I'm going to go for the, for the expanded no roof area. So that we can slowly take away the roofs. Um, would you mind coming over here? Yeah, and then, then you can mine the collapsed roof. That's a very dangerous, some very dangerous stuff. They should definitely not do that without me watching over them. What's there now? Overhead mountain, still. Overhead mountain. Hauling marble jump to dumping stockpile. Well, what we could do, whilst Josiah Lowe has nothing to do, is we could sort of dig this stuff out to replace it with a marble wall. We have a crap ton of marble by now. Gungeon is building this. This is looking good. We could um, put a, a second wall over there to isolate it a little bit more. I think that might not be a bad idea. So let's go for some limestone there because that wall is made out of limestone. Let's go for this. I would like to start building our our TV area down there. I'm just thinking that there might be other things that are more important. Hauling components to electric stove. Oh yeah, and we have to put in the second um, steel auto door. Over there. I really don't like people going through here. Um, actually, we're going to put a marble wall right in the middle. Because that pisses me off. Because <laughs> I got a perfectly good dining room over there. It's heated and everything. I should be happy um, with that in there. Yeah, that stuff, I have to do that manually, bit by bit. Overhead mountain, overhead mountain, collapsed rocks. 
This is going to be fairly difficult to, to bring that down. Maybe I should just accept that it's there and build a room around it. Maybe make it our, our trade beacon place. There's still animals in there. Holy marble chunk. Well, we could try to attack them for a little bit. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. If I were to open this. The problem is that they're all gonna come running for me. Oh, they won't really. There's one sleeping. Let's see how that goes. Okay, that's the first one coming for us. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, okay. That's a no-go. That's a no-go. We just don't have the firepower for this kind of stuff. I'm gonna break this one down as well. Oh, they're going after that one. That's not good. Really should have left them alone. <laughs> Manhunters are a real problem. Um, yeah, Waste of Orange said that uh, they actually had a, a Manhunter pack out of uh, made made up of elephants. Um, that is about the most intimidating thing that I can think of, apart from a really heavy siege. Manhunter pack of elephants, and you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot bring them down. How's that looking? Yeah, okay, so that has been removed. I'm gonna take away that granite wall. At least that's what I want. Let's bring up the speed a little bit. How's that chair? Superior dining chair, okay. Uh, we took one away over here as well, so I guess we gotta put that one in. Um... Put in a dining chair, and what do we want to do over here? Um, we want fine meals. Do do until you have um, well not thirty five. I think twenty four is what we have on had on the other ones. And basically, yeah, do this. That's fine. Yeah, twenty four, and we were aiming for forty simple meals so that's what we're going to do over here as well do until you have 40 details plus 25 plus 5 and skip the meat on the simple meals these are going to be vegetarian meals they're still hanging out here come on leave maddened moving just moving around Cranky bastards. Cranky bastards. Moist pump, moisture pump. Only three more tech points and we'll be there. Black Spiral Dancer, what are you doing? Holding some marble blocks away and holding marble chunks to the dumping stockpile. I really like that they are so hard working. At some point we should actually haul these mechanoid corpses inside because we can disassemble them for, for some stuff. What's that? That's a manhunter that's moving around on the southern end of our base. Are they are they leaving? Doesn't really look like it. There are two manhunters out there sleeping. And it looks like they are going. Moving... I would like to kill some of them. I'm not sure I can do it. Okay, that has been deconstructed as well. Um, oh, we want to deconstruct that too. And then we want to put in a marble wall the whole length of this. Then we're going to deconstruct the door inside. Deconstruct that and mine those two. They need to go. Okay. Almost building a chair. Oh, come on! <laughs> really? Gonna put a poor chair over there? That's not good. Gonna, gonna take that one apart again. Deconstructing steel door. 
Oh, that one over there. Yeah, that's fine. That needs to happen. Uh, most in the, most people in the base are sleeping now. I'm glad that they are not working right there. If the Manhunters would finally decide to go... Um, yeah, that one is still sleeping. Most of them seem to have moved on. Although, no, they're not, not quite. Not quite. What are they doing? Hang out there in the fire. Come on, just leave. Just leave. I want to go on with my life. Oh, well. <laughs> this is just how it goes. <laughs> um, this is granite, right? Um, could just do something like this. And basically incorporate the granite into our design. That might be fine. Um, because I do need a crematorium room outside. What are you doing now? Oh, you're bringing the resources for this thing. I'm gonna hold off on the on the chair until Gungeon can do it. And I think I'm going to take Ulmos off um, construction duty for the time when we open this this room over there. She's great, but she tends to actually not do too great things. She's generally good for construction, but doesn't really seem to have a knack for constructing furniture. That's fine, maybe her uh, um, proficiencies lie in a completely different area. That can happen. Totally cool. Okay, we're done with the moisture pump. Let's have a look at the research screen. What are we going to do next? I do kind of want to go to the uh, shipbuilding stuff. Um, that is further down the line. Multi-barrel weapons. Allows you to build miniguns. Powered armor. That's what we wanted. We only need the multi-analyzer for that. Guess i got to build that. Um, smithing. Fire foam sounds useful. Let's, let's knock out the hydroponics for now. Um, and the moisture pump. I'm guessing it's under, yeah, it's under miscellaneous. Very slowly removes moisture from nearby terrain, converting marshes or shallow water into dry ground. Does not affect deep water. So over here, no, I can't build it in the water, it would seem. I wonder if I can reinstall it. Does have a range. I'm gonna install it over here and then we're gonna see if we can um, reinstall it somewhere else. Almost is putting up that wall, which will allow us to run power into that direction. At some point we have to look behind the steel wall. <laughs> it's kind of weird that I left this um, basically in the unknown up until now. Gungeon is helping, putting up the wall. Um, structure, marble blocks, put that over. That's a dead wild boar manhunter. It's not maddened anymore though. I guess the manhunters have left the map. I don't see any anymore. There's one. Maddened manhunter. Looks like uh, that boar is leaving the map. Health isn't great. Left eye has been cut out. It has burns and malnutrition. Because I don't find too much to eat. Yeah, the manhunters are leaving. That's a very good thing. Makes me really happy. How's that chair? Excellent steel dining chair. Perfect. Uh, got a poor mood. Anti-scamp. Okay, well... I guess we'll survive. What are you doing? Hauling frag grenades. That's good. Um, what are you doing next? Relaxing socially. Yeah, what I would like you to do is we need a steel dining chair for whoever is actually smelting that stuff. So work on that, please. At least for now. Uh, we're going to allow this stuff again. Uh, 
And that also means that I want Josiah Lowe to hold that flat screen television. And Black Spiral Dancer, you might actually go and hold those components. Because we want to put our flat screen television up. Or at least we want to have it inside our base. This orbital trade beacon is not ideal for what we want to do. Let's leave that open. Let's cancel that, that thing over here. Green Zebra Export Company has, has left the trade range. Or comms range. That's fine. That stuff. I'm going to rearm it. And we want to auto rearm all those traps. And if someone could come out here and slaughter all these, um, take all these, these these pigs inside to be butchered, that would be absolutely great. I don't think anyone is, is restricted, but we're very low on food now. We are dancing at the edge of a volcano here. How's that one? Excellent. Perfect. That is pulling 700 watts. Are we losing power now? No, we're still slowly gaining power, so that's fine. Um, smelt metal from slag. Oh, we can do it from weapons as well. Nice. So we would actually be able to do forever. Let's just forever smelt stuff. I wonder what that is. Um, extracts usable metal from slag chunks and other mixed metal items. Consumes a lot of power, but doesn't really say me what... Um, kind of skill that is is it smithing is it metal working crafting includes stone cutting smelting and more okay yeah that's fine so jesse is working on his art over there that's fine are we there yet yeah josiah low getting there he's got the flat screen he's bringing our entertainment stuff back home this has been done. Looking good. Looking good. Um, and basically ripping this stuff out because the installation is way better if you build your own walls. That's just a effect. At least uh, that's what I think. Soft metamorphic rock. Yeah, I think the the things that we build ourselves do have a better installation value. Mm, 75 steel, 5 components. It's quite expensive in terms of, of components. What are you doing? Hauling wood to torch lamp. Yeah, I guess that's fine. People are people are hauling more and more wood inside. We're just refueling the torch lamp. It would be better if you were just to haul all that wood. That would help me way more. And a run. Don't refuel the torch lamp, just hold the wood, please. And you're doing that as well. Hold the wood, come on. We need that wood inside. Oh yeah, and that thing, we can actually eat that wild boar. Are there any other boars that died whilst on the map? I don't see any. I don't see any. Definitely need to expand our growing area fast, very fast. Lots of blood. Yeah, there's another one, another wild boar that died while moving around, just at the edge of the map. I guess we're lucky in that regard. We're almost is building the last deadfall trap. Yeah, the one before the last one. Desert Zero, cleaning building rubble over there. Why? Did I... Yeah, this is part of the home area again. For some reason. Okay, let's stop that. Let's clear this as well. There's no way to do this, but I guess I'm gonna send Desert Zero up there to haul that wild boar. Can definitely use some meat. What's that? tortoise leather that would give another chair that 100 tortoise leather <laughs> things are going well food is still missing but other than that quite happy there's not much metal slag 
smelting happening right now. Flat screen television. So if we were to install that, yeah, that has a bigger area. <laughs> so our new room doesn't quite work anymore. How big is the area of that thing? So it's um, it's all but one. So it's um, it's five. Um, where is it? I guess it's five by five. It's broader than this. It's it's one broader than this. So I guess it's six. Two, four, six. Two, four, five. Yeah. It's actually five by six. <laughs> so our room, our whole room layout doesn't really work anymore. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the flat screen, but I mean, is it is it one spot? No, it isn't. It's two as well because it's bigger. I don't like it. I really planned this <laughs> and now it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Can I vitals monitor? Component assembly. Is there the flat screen somewhere? Or do we have always have to to import that one? I mean, we can build charge rifles, but it seems we can't build any flat screens. We've certainly got our priorities straight, though. <laughs> but yeah, that looks like that won't work anymore. That plan. It's just not a thing that we can do. Shame. Okay, we're mining all that stuff out. That's a marble wall already. Um, orders... Let's put in marble wall over here. I guess I gotta rejuvenate that room. Oh, gotta gotta change it around. How how long is this? Thirteen. So that is six. Mm. Yeah, I guess we gotta do this. It's five by six. If I were to put it over here, then we would all be able to watch. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a think between episodes, but uh, well, we got the flat screen, and people are gonna be happy, uh, happily watching the flat screen. I mean, I think I'm gonna use the um, small television for over here. Although I could just put the I could just put the flat screen in the dining room so that everyone can watch um, flat screen television while they eat. Maybe even here. It's kind of uncomfortable though to watch television while you eat. Might not be a thing for us. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna decide that in between episodes. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, uh, tell me more in the comments and if you want to see more of the series in the future please consider subscribing there's still a couple more episodes i'm going to push slowly towards building our own spaceship we do have plastic over here we'll be able to make our own components soon as soonish as soon as i build the multi analyzers we could get a little bit more power by getting a geothermal but all in all i'm quite liking our base um maybe we're just gonna send our the Dark Moon Slavers themselves away. So our our original six pilots, Merc, Pot, Hillholm, Enderon, Spotnik and Gungeon, and maybe even Sol and Sly. Oh, and Bandek was an original pirate. Maybe just send them away, leave the others um, on the planet. I mean, these guys might want to go back to pirating. And I think they're just going to leave the slaves um, home on this planet to, to try their luck. I mean, life over here might be better than slavery. Yeah, hope I see you in one of my uh, other series or in the next episode. Thanks and bye bye.